there last year, kicked three goals in 30 minutes on Anzac Day, and it was just about game over. It'll be Bell Chambers getting the first tap against two. Drills the pass to Brown. Again, a trap on the half volley's good. Centering kick. Underneath it is Beams. He's got there. So Dane Beams is marked. And he's going to be kicking from right on 50. And this year, his conversion in front of goal has been much better. Seven goals, two in the four matches, converting at 78%. Beams is a good enough player in that situation. From right on the 50, slight angle, no breeze to worry about. Dane Beams for the first score of the match. Beautiful kick. And he winds up and drills it long, looking for Cloak. Beautiful mark from Travis Cloak. He attacked the footy with great gusto and has taken a cracking contested mark. That's the matchup we highlighted at the start of the game. Travis Cloak. Huge chance in the other parts of the game where they've got some advantage. Here's Davis again. Clever handball to Didak. Back to Davis, back to Didak. That is slick play from Collingwood as Johnson runs away. And what's he after with that? He's got Collingwood left, right and centre. Maxwell to Beams. This time he's not probably given the second goal away because Swan can cut the distance and put it through. And the Magpies lead by 30. Just need to take a mark inside 50 next time they go forward. Ryder climbing high on Ray Chamberlain's low bounce. Pendlebury, non-preferred, gets skillfully onto the left and kicks a wonderful, wonderful goal. 50. Stanton kicks towards Hill. Great tackle, Davis holding the ball. We spoke about it to Stanton, who drills it long, hoping for the big timber. The Monfrey's given away a silly free kick. Yeah, you heard the umpire. So it's just the finishing skills they're right in this match. Ball picked up by Thomas. Gets the handball receiver. Four, five or six years ago, Chris Tarrant would hold up like this in defence. He doesn't win much of the footy. Round in perfect conditions today, they can take one. Three and a half minutes left, opening term. Collingwood escape, Pendlebury and Thomas. And Cloak, not quite able to hang on. And again, Collingwood Dane drills it to half forward. Milksham against O'Brien. Essendon fans want a free kick. None forthcoming. O'Brien will clear again to Shaw. Good shepherd by Maxwell. It gives Shaw another five metres to work with. And then he kicks wonderfully well to Cloak. In a long ball to a leading teammate. It was beautifully executed. Cloak an imposing target these days. Wow. Not well covered there. And he's able to put that into a dangerous spot. Lee Brown in position. Two against him. Brown and Blair. Blair. And Jolly, the big man, drives it home. Collingwood have four. 50 now, Stanton. Oh, not having a good afternoon. Tuvi, too good. Well, he has absolutely sliced him apart there as Tuvi. And he kicks to half four of the marks taken by Blair. Well, Angus Monfries with one on one inside 50. The fumble from Stanton, so costly. Oh, he's become a classy player from 48. He just hasn't got enough. But he's got a result, and it's Pendlebury who's already kicked one. And he could bend this back with his left boot pretty comfortably with his skills. That's it's Collingwood by 23. Could get stuck between the posts That's from that angle. Uses the right. He can do it left, right, any way you like. His second goal. Watson waiting down. Jolly, though, the shovel to Wellingham. Hungry tackle that from Slattery, but he slipped out of it. Hooker of Hardigan beaten by the bounce. Gores, Swan, Collingwood looking to immediately reply. Didak, big job, young Heppel. Didak, all skill, all class, a Collingwood goal. Now, quite looking, but finally got the ball in his hands. Kicks the half forward, attacking it this early. And that's a Collingwood mark. Back disposes now this quarter, put his head over the footy, back, back courageously. Created that last goal for the Bombers, which is a massive one in the last uh, four and a quarter minutes before half time. Swan. Barrels one inside 50. Fletcher. Oh, well done. Does oh, it have your ball? Well, Ray Chambers come in, and you can see how he position Dustin Fletcher. Should have been paid the mark. Chris Dawes kicks the goal. Yeah. 
Luke Ball's free kick, and the Magpies ever alert to the possibilities. Clever little grub from Johnson to Pendlebury. Nice wait for O'Brien to storm the barricades and deliver for Jared Blair to have a shot. Harry O'Brien has been a dominant force this quarter. Michael Hurley, he's ran off him far too often, and I think it comes a time where I know you can't. This is shown out in this third quarter. Collingwood's ball, Wellingham to Luke Ball, and he manages to work it home. They can put the pressure on Tarrant. Tarrant slaps it in the Thomas direction. That's great use of the body by Lovett Murray. A win there for Essen. And then Thomas chases down McVeigh. Well done, Dale Thomas. Ah, fantastic effort, Dale Thomas. Back to Lovett Murray. Back to Stanton. Over to Milksham. He's hemmed in. Under pressure. Gone. The good man. His leader. Who goes to Cramery. Tooby with him. And Tooby's won some great one on one victories. To side bottom. To Davis. To Cloak. And Colling would build again. The champions steadying under fire. Good placement, Cloak. Doors there. Brown down. And that is a goal. Mown down again. Zaharakis is in there. He's tackled. Releases the football to Hill. Hill handballs backwards. It's going to Pendlebury, though, who somehow magically sidesteps and got the handball off to Wellingham. That was all class. In the third quarter. Cloak, brilliant tap, beams off the ground! Is it off to Watson? Jetta was caught napping there. And uh, consequently retakes the uncontested mark. Goes bravely into the middle. It's a good decision. Running onto it is Tuvi. Tuvi kicks to the pocket. Tenet trying to set up. Cloak takes the mark, plays on goal. And the Bombers get a reprieve. Didak, and that might be out on the full. It is. Didak flicking it back after a teammate. But in fact, getting Hooker's boot. And now using his own Cloak. with devastating effect. Cloak waited down. And he kicks two in a minute. Now Hooker, but he just looked dead tired. Go to your best and most experienced defender. Brown beautifully to Blair. Picks the moment, shoots towards goal. It's a mark to Collingwood to Dawes. Again. Slattery arrives. Spoil low with Wellingham. And Collingwood have the ball covered. Didak. Attacking hand pass to Swan. To Wellingham. The hit on the bomber defence now. Cloak with the sit. He's got it again. And the bulk and strength of Collingwood's two silos up forward is proving too much. Yeah, more than that too. I think you've got to pay enormous credit to Travis Cloak. He is an aerobic animal. Covers out his foot. Four goals last year in this game. Five goals in 2008. And he has kicked three goals in the uh, last... in the game. But uh, they've won a heap of friends out of their performance today. Keith Shaw and Cloak producing a dominant last quarter, Travis Cloak, and he'll put this in a position in which Collingwood could score again. Here comes Heppelo over the top. Leon Davis kept the ball in, although his feet were out, and right. steered it magnificently to side bottom to sew it up for the Magpies. The score line in years to come, they'll think, well, that wasn't terribly exciting. And it might get worse than that for Essendon because Pendlebury will be having a shot. It might give Collingwood a five-goal lead, and yet I'm wondering if this is the best Anzac Day clash, all things considered, since the draw in 95. Just about, I reckon, Tim, it's a good point you make. And it might give Scott Pendlebury the Anzac Day medal two years in a row because if he kicks this, it's three goals. He had 33 possessions. He's shooting after the siren. The Magpies, too good. The challenge came. They withstood it. They're winners. They're still champs. And the margin is around 30 points.
What a day at the MCG. Perfect conditions and a great game of football. The Bombers got to within less than a kick. But Collingwood, as good teams do, rallied to win by 30 points. 16-11-107 to 11-11-77. Cloak and Pendlebury, three goals each for the winners. Cramery, four goals for Essendon. And Scott Pendlebury, 34 disposals and yet another medal in his trophy cabinet.